music when I was younger, um, definitely through the influence of my parents. They were music teachers and performers, and my mum was a singer-songwriter as well. So I grew up with it. It was the first thing I heard when I woke up, last thing I heard when I went to sleep. And um, for those you know, influences, you can't help but absorb it and sort of be influenced by it. I loved singing as a kid, and my mum used to write me little songs songs like Fergus the Frog or a song about a girl or Lily Tilly, I can't remember its name, it doesn't matter, but I loved it anyway. And uh, I did lots of little performance and performances and things for them and did some busking and some Stedford, so it was just sort of a long journey to this point. It's never easy. It's it's such an incredible slog. I mean, I've been doing it now for about five, five and a half years, and I'm still so very much a newbie. You know, I, I'm really still a kid on the scene, and, and um, especially when you start, people are a lot more forgiving because it's your first foray into live music and recording and writing, and you have a lot of help and a lot of guidance and support. And then as you you kind of build a following. You're, you know, you've, you've performed over 200 gigs, you've done some tours, you've maybe played shows overseas as well. Um, it just starts to become a little harder rather than easier because you've always got sort of a standard to meet and you've always got to better yourself. And it's a real personal challenge for me to keep making good music and to keep putting on good live performances. That's what it should always be about anyway, but the Sydney or the Australian music scene is a particularly hard scene to crack. So I'm giving it my best shot right now. That's a really good question. Um, I, there's no way that I would still be doing it, um, or that I'd have, if I had, I wouldn't have the courage to do it without my mum because she's done it herself and she knows how hard it is. And so it's really nice to have someone who understands and who just sort of who loves you and just really is looking out for your best interests. There's nothing else at play, there's no money at play. It's not like a, a manager breathing down my throat telling me you've got to keep going, you've got to keep going, gotta make one more, gotta make one more. It's someone who really admires and respects me and um, I'm feeling neutral. So for me, my mum, every time I sort of get a little bit low, you know, gigs are, are killing me because I'm slogging so high from one venue to the next or um, I'm struggling for inspiration to write more songs. She's always the sort of driving force behind me, pushing me along. And I think everyone really needs that, otherwise it's just so hard to keep going. Um, but it's also the thrill of the chase as well. If you're ambitious and you're determined, there's just no other path. And for me, this is it. In a nutshell, um, some of it's fantasy, some of it's um, a bit of reality, and some of it's just trying to tell a good story. It's really hard to know where, where the songwriting kind of aspect of all of this comes from. I mean, I've probably talked to I'm blue in the face about the work behind it all, but when it comes to the creative side of things, it's really hard to pinpoint where it all comes from. Uh, I've been writing since I was 12, and my first song that I wrote was about a farm. And, uh, <laughs> The last song that I wrote was a song called Bang Bang, which is just like a, a random journey. It makes absolutely no sense, but it kind of does. There's a lot of metaphor and mystery in there. So it's just a progression. It's, it's whatever you're living through at the time, and, and certainly your musical influences have a lot to do with that as well, have a big impact on your, your writing lyrically, stylistically. Um, so it's a big melting pot of influences which is kind of makes it more exciting. Where am I? Music's been such a huge part of my life, it's always sort of defined me, but I love, um, I love hanging out with my friends, I love, uh, I love swimming and, and being active. Uh, people who know me, know me will probably laugh at that because they think I'm really amazing, but I'm not really, deep down. I love reading, I've always been a fan of literature. Uh, good books, good films, good food, good wine, all really important parts of who I am. Um, I love travel as well. With music I've been very lucky, I've been able to travel to, to Europe and the States and, and even to Cuba. Um, so 
I probably wouldn't travel if, if it wasn't without the influence of music because I always feel like it's good to have a goal when you go somewhere. Um, so aside from that, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty easygoing, pretty chilled out person. As long as I've got a couch and a TV, a stack of DVDs and maybe a bit of chocolate, I'm fine. This is my own song, it's called Bad Boy. Flashing before my eyes, quick roll the credits. Standing on the edge of a precipice, my back facing your knife. Go on, stick it in, hit the spot, and you're the right. Yeah. 